if anyone in the Willamette Valley, and I'm going to only talk about the Willamette Valley because that's the Willamette, the place I know the best for growing grapes. And if you want to plant grapes here, uh, the soil is very, very important. And I'm going to tell you right now, and every grape grower will tell you this, the most important single element in the soil is, and it all starts with calcium. And calcium affects the pH of the soil. And if your pH of, no matter what all the other nutrients are, if your pH is down around five, uh, you're just the grape just aren't going to grow because a, uh, a plant doesn't take up a molecule of carbon and a molecule of magnesium and a molecule of of uh, whatever. It takes up the ionized form, and folks, uh, all those minerals and nutrients that the that, uh, that a plant needs, that a great plant needs, they just don't ionize very well at a low pH. And so you've got to bring that soil pH up to around 6, 6.1, 2, 3. If you have a great plant that's planted in soil that's around a 5, that plant is just going to sit there, sit there, and sit there, and you pour the uh, chicken manure and everything on it, it's still not going to go anywhere. You Bring that pH up to that 6, 6.123, and it's jumped back bars up because that plant's just going to boom out of the ground. And it's very, very important. And then the balance between your calcium and magnesium. Uh, if that calcium-magnesium ratio is more like 1 to 1, uh, and I'll tell you how you can tell, if uh, during, the, during the summertime, you're going to have those big cracks in your soil about like that. And in the winter time, when it's when that soil is cultivated, uh, you walk across it and you've got that mucky goo stuck to your boots about that thick and you can't shake it off or anything. And if you change that ratio to about four calcium to, to one magnesium, then the water holds in there a lot better. The, Everything flows just so much better at that four to, four to one ratio from calcium to magnesium. And then all the other nutrients. And uh, uh, if you're short of anything, hey, grapes need boron. They need all these little micronutrients because when that grape comes in, it has all the proteins and the amino acids and everything that, that goes into a balanced soil. And if that soil is balanced, that grape, the juice, that's being fermented is balanced and you're going to have a wonderful wine. And if it's not, if you're, if you're, let's say your soil has almost zero manganese in it, well, life needs manganese and so does a grape. And if you're, there's zero in it, it's like trying to eat, if I line up 10 tomatoes here and uh, nine of these tomatoes are hothouse raised tomatoes, hydroponic raised tomatoes, and this one right over here is a garden grown tomato in soil that's totally balanced and everything. I'm going to tell you right now, a hundred people can come and taste this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and all 100 are going to say, they all look beautiful, but I like the taste of this one here because it grew in a balanced soil and has all the balance all the nutrition there that your body requires and if you only eat these over here and that's all you can eat you don't get anything else or you're probably going to get like these ancient mariners that scurvy and very very and all that sort of thing because you're not getting all the nutrients that you need and that's what a balanced soil is it's very important to do and it starts with calcium